And as I'm beating my meat, out of nowhere, I see my mom walk in and she stares at me saying, Bubba, what are you doing to yourself? Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to a super embarrassing story. So this story all takes place back when I was in high school and this was my grade nine year. So in grade nine, obviously, I'm not gonna lie to you, around this time, I wasn't that much of a lady catcher, but at the same time, like I would still be able to pull certain women, not like super attractive ones, like 10 out of 10s, but you know, I'd be generous with my numbers and be like, you know, going for threes or fours. It sounds really sad, but at the same time, like my standards weren't that high back then. But I remember one time when I was walking down the school hallway with some of my friends, I remember there was a girl that I was always kind of interested in and I found super, super attractive. Now, obviously this was not uncommon. I was a hopeless romantic. Any girl that I would see, I'd be like, wow, like she's hot. Like I want to talk to her and, you know, maybe do the duvel's tango. But obviously like, you know, out of hundred percent of the shots you take, chances were you're going to miss a lot of them. So I remember I ended up seeing this girl in the hallway and my buddy that was with me at the time, he looks at me and says, Bubba, just go talk to the girl, bro. Trust, man. Like, you guys keep staring at each other. It's weird. Yeah, I know, but I'm just nervous, man. Like, I don't know if I can talk to her. Bro, what do you mean? Just go talk to her. Don't be weird. So I remember he ended up pushing me kind of towards her direction as we were passing by her. And I remember I ended up bumping into her and she looks at me saying, oh, Bubba, you okay? Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. Oh, no, it's all good. I have a question, though. Uh, yeah, what's up? We're in the same chemistry class, right? I believe so, yeah. Do you mind helping me with some chemistry homework? I know you're doing good in the class and I'm not. So like you're down to like maybe help me out sometime. I did not know that she was going to, you know, basically ask me for a study hangout, I guess, or a study date. But I was like kind of mind blown because this girl was way out of my league. So I remember I looked at her and I just basically nodded my head. Yes, really awkwardly because I didn't know what else to say. And then I remember she told me to basically take out my phone and I got my phone out and she put her number in. At that point, I ended up walking back towards my friend as he was watching the whole thing go down, like literally 20 steps away from us. And he looks at me saying, see, bro, what I tell you, it's that easy. Just talk to her, bro. Dude, you embarrassed me is what I told him afterwards. But in a way, I guess I do have to thank him because he got me a date or at least so I thought because what ends up happening next honestly kind of hurt my feelings. Later on that school day, I ended up basically texting this girl back and forth throughout the whole entire day. And me and her, we like always text back and forth, even during class. And when we got to chemistry class, I remember she decided to sit beside me during chemistry. And I got to say, it was the most insane thing ever. Obviously me, I had to impress her by at least getting my work done and at least trying to be, you know, looking smart for her because she thinks I was smart when in reality, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really wasn't that smart, but I basically got my work done ahead of time. And she obviously didn't. And she looked towards me and says, Oh, Bubba, I'm just wondering, maybe like after school, you down to like, maybe like hang out and like, maybe like I'll go over to your place and we could like study. Uh, yeah, no, I'm down hundred percent. And at that moment I got super excited. I'm like, bro, no way. I just pulled a date. This is easy. Let's go Bubba in the game. But then I got to say later on, my heart got broken because after school that day, I remember I went outside and I basically stood outside my school waiting for her to basically meet up with me so we could head back to my place. But as I'm looking around, I basically waited there longer than one hour and I saw that she was nowhere to be found. I basically got stood up and I was really upset to the point where I remember going home. I was miserable. I kept looking at my phone to see if she would text me. I would keep looking around. I would basically be super upset as I was walking home because, well, it's not fun being stood up and it never is. So me being super upset, I remember once I got home, I ended up sitting on my bed, just really just disappointed at what just happened. And then I remember I ended up going my phone and I decided to message her. I messaged her saying, Hey, like I'm home right now. I didn't see you after school, but like, you know, next time, if you're not going to show up, maybe just tell me. And I left it at that. Two hours later, I remember I was playing call of duty since I had really no other schoolwork to do since I finished my chemistry at class. And basically when I looked at my phone after like two hours later during COD, I ended up looking and seeing that she texted me. At this moment, I got super excited. She texted me back. And I remember when I looked at my phone, I saw she said, oh, Bubba, I'm sorry. Like something came up after school, but I promise tonight I'll make it up to you. Now this moment, I didn't know what she meant by she'll make it up to me. Like I was really confused because I was like, wait a minute. Are you going to meet up with me tonight? Are you like, am I going to your place? Are you going to see me? Like, how are you going to make it up to me? I'm so confused. And then I remember basically that entire day after after she sent that message, she didn't text me back until later on that night. I want to say this was like at like 9 30, almost 10 o'clock at night. And I was getting ready for bed. But me, when I lay down in bed, I remember I basically like to watch YouTube videos to pass out to this day. I still like to watch videos to basically like, you know, sleep too, because it's just habit to watch something and pass out for me nowadays. And me, as I'm watching this YouTube video, I ended up seeing a message from the girl. And out of nowhere, I realized that it was a photo that she sent me. I remember I ended up basically looking at the photo that she sent and I saw it was a photo of her cherries. And at that moment, I knew what she meant.
meant by making it up to me. I remember I saw this photo and I'm like, damn, like, okay, that's nice. And then one thing led to another. I ended up saying like how they were nice because, you know, I didn't want to be rude, I guess. And I also didn't know how to respond to like a photo of just her cherry. So I basically awkwardly said, oh, like, that's really cool. And then one thing led to another. She kept sending me more photos and more photos of herself. And well, one thing led to another. I think the obvious thing that everyone knows happens is that you get brick. And me, I remember I was in bed bricked as hell looking at these photos thinking, damn. So I remember I ended up basically getting ready to, you know, beat my meat. At this moment, like I knew like, you know, I was in the mood. So why not just beat one out? So I get my lotion ready. I get my towel ready. You know, the, the Duvel's cream towel that I usually use. And then I remember I ended up getting ready and I started beating my meat. Yeah, I started beating it. And out of nowhere, I remember there was one moment where she actually ended up sending me a video of her and I ended up basically like pressing play on the video and it ended up like having like a loud volume and I had my AirPods in because like I was watching a video earlier and I remember as like this video was playing in my ears and I was like, you know, wanking one out out of nowhere. I ended up seeing my mom come into my room and she looks at me and I didn't notice her until I ended up looking to the side when the video was over and she was just staring at me, beating my meat. And she looks at me saying, Bubba, what are you doing to yourself? I remember I covered myself really quickly with my blanket and I was like, mom, like, what are you doing? Like, I'm busy, mom. And she just looks at me super awkwardly, not knowing what to say at all. Honestly, I don't know what moms are supposed to do in this moment. Like, I never really understood what was supposed to happen, but I remember my mom ended up leaving my room right away when I kind of freaked out at her. And she ended up basically like, you know, waiting by the door until I came out. And when I came out of my room, out of embarrassment, my mom looks at me and says, oh, Bubba, don't be embarrassed. It's okay. It's very common. It's human nature. And at that moment, I'm thinking, mom, like, why didn't you knock? Like, what is going on with you? Like, I, I was super upset. But one thing I will say is that later on, me and my mom, we ended up sitting down and we talked it out. And basically, she told me how, like, I was turning into a grown up and, like, you know, how I'm going to feel all these emotions. And I guess, you know, I had to relieve them in some way. I don't know. It was the most awkward conversation to have with your parent. And honestly, if you're a parent watching this video, how in the world are you supposed to, like, communicate with your child or, like, your kid about this? Like, it's just super weird. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys the most embarrassing story I think I've actually gone through probably not the most embarrassing out of everything i've said on this channel but definitely embarrassing and this story starts off all back when i was in grade nine now in grade nine that's when hormones of mine were really active it's when i realized that i was a hypersexual and when i realized that i was well beating the eggplant meaning that i just could not stop i think it's gone to the point where like at that age i would do it like almost six times a day which is not good because obviously i want my testosterone levels to be high but at the same time i mean hey man it's just hitting puberty okay like I was a machine back then and still am a machine to this day, which is not something I should say and could get demonetized. Uh, can we cut that out? Anyways, going on though, I remember basically back when I was in high school, one time when I was sitting in my room, my dad walked into my room and no, I wasn't beating my meat at this time. I was actually sitting down playing Call of Duty. When I was sitting down playing Call of Duty, my dad ended up walking up to me saying, Bubba, we're going to be going to visit your grandma. And I remember at that moment, I was super excited. Now, if you guys don't know why I was super excited is because me, I'm in Vancouver, Canada. My grandmother, she lives all the way in the United States of America. So when we get to go see grandma, in reality, it's, hey, we're going on a vacation to the United States of America, which is awesome. I love the US of A. It, it's actually really cool. So me being super excited, I remember that moment I ended up packing up my bags. And the next morning, we basically ended up driving all the way to the United States of America and basically went past the border and drove all the way to Seattle where my grandma was located. Anyways, when we got to my grandma's house, I remember we ended up going in there. We started unpacking everything and me I was relaxing and I remember one the reason why I was super excited was because my grandma actually owned an Xbox 360 so in reality when I went to go visit my grandma it wasn't like I was you know leaving gaming it was like I could game at my grandma's house and she even got the Xbox 360 just for me to play on so me being super excited and super happy I remember I brought my Call of Duty Black Ops 2 disc and I was basically just at my grandma's house playing Call of Duty in the US of A for you guys it's probably normal since a lot of you guys are probably in the United States actually what country are you guys from comment it down below i'm actually curious but i remember basically i was playing games and playing call of duty and i remember i ended up playing for hours on end yes i would enjoy time with my grandma as well obviously but at the same time my grandma would sometimes like to play video games with me and to this day i'm not gonna lie to you my grandma means the world to me so as you guys can tell like as me explaining all this my grandma was a really important person in my life a very important person which i would hate if she saw anything bad of me come to life which 
happens in this story. Anyways, going on though, I remember one time though, it was getting super late and my parents wanted to go out and have a good time going out with my aunts and my uncles and basically go out and have a good time. And they usually like to go that really late. Maybe they either go to a casino or go to a club or something. But me, I wasn't allowed because obviously I was super young and I was only in grade nine. So what ended up happening was my grandma would actually end up taking care of me and basically watch over me as my family go out and have a good vacation. But me, obviously, I wasn't hard to take care of. If anything, put me in front of a TV. I'm chilling. But I remember it got super late into the night. I want to say like 1 30 a.m. where I ended up basically having to go to bed. So I remember I ended up going to bed and basically laying down in the bedroom that my grandma had set up for me. As I was in there, I remember I was laying down and I was just kind of like not being able to sleep. Like you guys know that feeling where you lay down, but you just can't sleep. And for me, I'm one of those weird people that need to watch YouTube videos or watch a movie or something just so I can go to bed. If you guys are those type of people, you guys understand what I mean. But me, I couldn't sleep. And I remember it got to the point where I was basically just laying down with my eyes wide open, not knowing what to do. So in another way, I found out another way that I could sleep, which was, you know, beating my meat, you know? Yeah. Be beating my meat. I'm just going to say that right now. I, I would have to beat my meat for me to get more tired. So me, instead of doing the bad thing, which would be doing it right on my grandmother's guest bed, I decided to basically go to the bathroom and I sat down in there and I opened up my phone and yeah, I ended up, you know, watching the Duvel's Hub. That was on my phone when I was, you know, beating it at my grandma's place. So I'm in my grandma's bathroom, you know, beating, beating my meat, going crazy, you know, doing the typical thing that most guys would do and maybe girls. I don't know if you girls would do this, but at the same time, us guys are really active compared to women nowadays but going on i remember i was beating it and then one thing led to another i ended up hearing footsteps around the bathroom now at this point i got super nervous and i'm like oh snap like i think my grandma's outside or something so i remember i ended up basically like kind of like holding still and just like you know just waiting for like this footsteps to go away but at the same time i was like actually like really close to like finishing and basically wanting to just finish the entire thing and just you know call it a day and just go straight to my bed so i remember i ended up just basically trying to do a speed run like i ain't no small ant or anything but i basically tried speed running my meat and one thing led to another i guess my grandma like heard like something going on in the bathroom so what my grandma decides to do is just walk into the bathroom and see what's going on and one thing i will say as well is that my grandma's bathroom did not have a good lock because for emergency reasons they didn't want to have a lock on her door in case anything happened to her in the bathroom so me as i'm like absolutely terrified beating it going crazy that any moment now my grandma could just walk in on me right as like the video is about to end i ended up busting the devil's cream and right as i'm like in the middle of you know the entire thing that happened my grandma walks in with her eyes wide open saying bubba what are you doing honestly i didn't know what to say and i was just really embarrassed just sitting there going okay um grandma listen i'm becoming a man now like I, I didn't know what to say but then i remember my grandma ended up closing the door right away and she just said like you know finish up we'll talk about this after i ended up going you know out of there we ended up sitting down on the bed that i was supposed to be sleeping on and she basically explained to me how you know i'm becoming a man and stuff and that you know you need to control myself you want your testosterone levels high and blah 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 all this stuff about how you know watching the devil's hub is like unhealthy and stuff you know basically the basic talk that you get in school and also from your parents and yeah when my parents got home luckily my grandma and i did make a promise that we would never tell anybody about this story but i at the same time, this was back when I was in grade nine. And you know, the fact that she kept that promise to this day really warms my heart. But at the same time on this YouTube channel, only the truth comes out. Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another crazy video. So obviously this video takes back all the way back when GTA five came out. So this was like a long time ago. Cause if you guys don't know, Grand Theft Auto is like one of the oldest games that I grew up with personally. And honestly, like I love the game to bits, you know, I can't wait till they actually make a GTA six which we all know will probably never happen since they keep remastering old crap and none of us even want it. And it just sucks. It just sucks, okay? But anyways, like I was saying, so this story takes place back when GTA 5 came out. And when GTA 5 came out, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was awesome. Me and my friends wanted to get the game so bad and we were all excited for it. I remember one of my friends pre-ordered it online so that his mom wouldn't have to give consent. And if you guys don't know what I mean by that, you see down here in Canada, we have a thing called EB Games, or I guess for Americans, it's GameStop or in other countries, countries it's just a game store and they kind of do this thing where if it's like an m rated game or 17 plus you have to be you are not able to get the game without parents consent and obviously you know when you go and buy the game they make sure all these rules like you do realize like this game has like violence death attack helicopters biden donald trump and like the whole country going kaboom right and like bruh are you joking like dude i just want to play a game bro and they put limitations like that in a game store i'm just joking i actually kind 
kind of get it, but in a sense, it sucked. So in a way, I really had no way to actually get this game for when it was released. Because think about it like this. I was like 15 or 14, actually, at the time. And getting GTA wasn't an option. Because my parents were pretty strict at the time. And let's just say, you know, if I had an EB Games, you know, salesperson or retail, whatever the person does, going up to my mom and saying, uh, yeah, sure, this game has violence, a lot of devils, tango, and a bunch of uh explosives. Are you sure you want your son to have this? I already know for a fact. She's going to say no, and we're going to get out of that store, and I'm going to cry to bits not having the game. So I developed a plan, a very secret, ultra mega, super awesome, cool plan. Yes, I made this up myself. So obviously, you see, in school, you meet a lot of people. And in middle school, you usually meet that one person whose parents don't care about their kid. As sad as it is, yes, this is a hard fact. There's usually always that parent that doesn't care about their kid. So I remember I've had one of those friends before. And honestly, he was a benefit to me at this day. Because I remember I walked up to him and told him, yo, bro, like, I need this game, bro. Like, these, bro, like, can you ask your dad to go pick it up? I'll give you the money for it. And he told me straight up, oh, yeah, like, no problem, bro. Just, uh, just, just give me, like, double for it. Bro, what? This guy was expecting me to give him, like, $140. But then I remember he liked a chick in school. And she was kind of my friend at the time. So I told him, bro, if you do this for me, I'll literally hook you up with the hottest chick in school. Your crush. And at that moment, he instantly said yes. He took my money and he told me, give me one day. So when he said that, I instantly went home and was excited. I was prepping my console. I remember even cleaning my console, preparing for this game to come inside the disk drive, go into my console and just, uh, sorry, that was, that was, that was inappropriate. My bad. Sorry. I got excited because this was a big thrill. I think all of you guys know the big feeling of when you get like a new game and stuff. Like it feels good. Okay. It feels awesome. So anyways, at that moment, I remember the next day came by and I went up to my buddy. He gave me the game and I instantly put that bit thing in my backpack and was excited to go home. Actually, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I skipped class just to go home and play this game. So I remember when I got home, I sneaked up to my room. I literally opened my disc tray for my console. I played on the Xbox 360 at the time. I put the game in and I closed it and instantly right on my screen appeared Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh my goodness, dude. I was hyped, dude. I was ready to press it. I was getting my snacks ready because you already know this game is literally a movie. And when I opened it, instantly the loading screen came on and my mom walked into the house from work. Now, this is where I was panicking. Okay. I was freaking out inside because if my mom came into my room, saw that loading screen and saw a chick in a bikini, she knew something was up. So I remember every time like I would somewhat hear her come into my room, I would turn off my like monitor or my TV at the time, I should say. And you know, she would like check in and be like, what are you doing? And I'd be like, nothing, reading, doing, jerking off, anything else? Yeah, no, literally that's, that's literally what I would do. But then I remember when I started playing the game and, you know, all my friends got on and stuff. And for some reason, you know, I recently found out that there was a GTA 5 strip club in the game. And that was really, really cool. I remember I told my friends like, oh, like I'm going to go to the strip club in GTA. I'll be back in 20 minutes. So I muted my mic. I went inside that strip club. And what did I end up doing? Well, I ended up wanking off to digital chicks. Yeah, this is actually really sad. But in a way, it's kind of the same as the devil's hub. So don't make fun of me. So I ended up, you know, doing that. And obviously as I was doing that, I kind of like had like a towel and everything set up and stuff. And as I was like going at it, my mom walked in when I had my headset on and I didn't hear her coming. And let's just say she saw it happen. She looked at my TV. She looked at me and she's like, what are you doing? Like, what is this? Like, no, 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 no. like it was, it was bad. It was bad, dude. It was just terrible. And, um, yeah, uh, let's just say I got my game taken away from my parents. I didn't get it until two weeks later when I found her in the drawer and I never went to the Grand Theft Auto strip club again. Cause you know, it's just not worth the risk. Anyways, guys, that's basically it for the video. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for all the love and support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.